so creating a proper walk cycle can be a bit of a pain but there's a couple of tricks that you can use to make things a little bit easier on yourself now over here we have a uh, insect like monster this technique will also work for human based walking cycles but things like insects or robots or that kind of stuff it is even better for so what we have here is a skeleton with inverse kinematics set up if you don't know how to set up inverse kinematics there's a link down below in the description and up top in the card about that and then we have the inverse kinematic control bone connected to a empty which is then moving along a spline which when played looks like this as you can see it makes a perfect loop and it makes for a pretty good walk cycle so let's get into making this okay so we already have the inverse kinematics set up so we don't really need to be in pose mode right now let's go back into object mode and we can add a empty plane axis it doesn't really matter what you choose but let's go for plane axis in this case and put that at the foot now we can duplicate this and move it to foot number two duplicate it again move it to foot number three now with the skeleton selectors we're going to go back into pose mode and we're going to select this first ik control bone then in bone constraints we're going to go copy location and we're going to copy the target location of mt number one now when we go back into object mode and move this mt around you will see that in fact the foot starts moving around so we can now actually animate this thing without even going into pose mode at all you will also note that when i move this leg around uh this leg moves with it as well that is because this bone over here is parented to this bone because that's just how insects walk they walk with two legs at a time oftentimes so back in pose mode we can go copy location for this one as well copy empty point one and then for this one copy location and target is MT002 and now all of these bones are connected to these empties. Going back into object mode we now add a curve and we add a circle. We move that circle over to where the foot is and then we rotate that in the Y axis by 90 degrees. Going into edit mode by pressing tab we can flatten this circle out a little bit because we don't want it to actually be a circular motion and just adjust these points until you're happy with the shape that your new path makes a little something like this should probably work fine now we probably want to line that up so that the flatter part of the circle that we've created is level with the ground and you can see there is a little bit of bumpiness to it so let's try to go fix that this seems to be pretty much good enough now selecting the empty that we've made we can go into the object constraints here we can say follow path now we can select which path we want which is the bezier circle that we just made now you'll see that this thing is doing weird stuff and that's because it's trying to follow this path if we play around with the offset you will see that we are in fact actually moving along the shape of this path but it's offset and that's because we moved around the empties to begin with. That's very good for having a little bit of context when you're parenting things and constraining things to other things. But once you've actually added all the constraints, you're going to want to go into your empty object and set the location back to 0, 0, 0. Because now that location applies to its local location around this spline. And now we can simply just increase this offset value or decrease it if you want to walk backwards and we have him walking along the spline obviously you can just simply animate this by hovering over the value and pressing i then going into whatever frame you want and just making a full cycle here which in this case i think uh should be a hundred make another keyframe by pressing i and now we have one of our feet in the walk cycle. If you then repeat that same process for this foot and this foot as well, you end up with a system that is something like this. 